Right now, we're going to Lieutenant Jim Molinari of the San Francisco Fire Department. He's on the phone at the Hall of Justice Command Center. Jim? Well, once again, we are having problems with our phone system. It comes in and it comes and it goes throughout the evening. Uh, Doug was mentioning the, uh, the collapse of the roadway at the cantilever on the Bay Bridge. We've been showing you pictures of that. We now have some amateur video of, of a car falling into the collapsed part of the bridge right after it happened. The witness says the cars were sent through by Caltrans after the quake. We can't confirm that, of course, but that's what we were told by uh, someone who was on the scene. You can see they didn't have a, a clue. The surprise is that they couldn't see what had happened. Now this, that must be the car that we saw from uh, Dick Terry, the Channel 10 uh, photographer that we saw up close just a little while ago. Mm -hmm. This is what happened leading up to that. The thought was that they had been trapped when the collapse occurred, that they had driven in, but now it looks like they had just driven on much after the collapse. Big gas leak. And a gas leak too. Is that your partner found you? Yeah. Did you actually hear anybody? Or did you just hear something? Well, he, he said hear something. Oh. These are news who were covering the story who thought they heard something. And they got the police to come over. And to this moment, I don't know if anyone was inside that building or if they were alive or not. Does anybody got any flashlights in their house? They might start. Does anybody have a flashlight? A flashlight! We're going to start needing to get them out. We're going to start getting dark in us pretty soon here. A couple of minutes later, a woman walked up to us. There's that living room we told you about. Second floor, now on the ground. This, again, just around the corner, maybe one city block, caddy corner, from the big fire going on at the corner of Cervantes. Can you hear me? Did you hear somebody under there? There's an interview coming up here with a woman who explains the way she saw this building fall. I heard somebody yell behind, from behind. What did, what did you see when this thing went down? It we, went we down so quietly. So it was just so we'll bizarre. See, see the building in the background. Yeah, but I'm losing this. What did, what, how fast we did were, it last? It, we were standing over here. It lasted for about eight seconds. And about four seconds into it, we turned around because we were going to run through the playground, and we saw this go, and it just quietly collapsed. It was so... Bizarre. Oh, yeah. It was just like a quiet crunch. It just crunched down. All, all of this damage that's happened, it just went, it just quietly crunched. Like, so eerie. It was so eerie. And the woman who ran out of this apartment said she heard someone in the back scream, probably from down below. And we've been, we've been trying ever since it happened to find them, so. This was two stories or three stories? Oh, this was uh, two, two story like this. God, it's incredible you don't notice until, right, Mike? Your name is? Uh, Deanne. Last name? Delbridge. Why did we turn around and see this? We turned around to see what was happening. That's what, what happened. We were just looking around. We, we, were, we were out of the car on the sidewalk when it hit, and we just turned around this way to see what was going on, and we just, it just quietly went down, right? It was just like a crunch. Thank you. Uh, Wayne Friedman, thank you very much. We, have, we understand that NBC carrying a lot of our reporting around the country, so I think we ought to back up a little bit and give you an overview. Emerald Ye, Evan White, we're with KRON TV in San Francisco, the NBC affiliate. An earthquake, seven point even, they're saying now, about five after five this afternoon Pacific time, uh, hit an area south of us. 
uh, actually about 10 miles from Santa Cruz, 50 miles southeast of San Francisco, and um, San Jose, which is not far from there, we're getting reports that there is no major injuries or damage, but our reporters heading to Santa Cruz in San Francisco, though, very serious reports of damage and fatalities. The Marina District is one. You just saw the pictures of that spreading fire, collapsed buildings, looking for trapped people. This is in the Marina District, which is built on landfill, so it's one of the more vulnerable areas during an earthquake. Uh, that fire is going on on Beach and Divisadero. Also, south of Market, on 6th and Brannan, there are five people dead. We saw video earlier of a brick wall that had tumbled and cascaded upon cars, crushing them. Uh, we were told that five people are dead and three people missing. Candlestick Park felt it. People there for the World Series Game 3. We were told at least 30,000 people are still there. But everything remained pretty orderly. The Indeed. game, of course, was canceled. Um, there are some structural damage at Candlestick, but it, it's standing up. The Bay Bridge, another story, though. Yeah. Bay, Bay area-wide, transportation is the most serious Bay problem. Bridge, One, we have darkness now on the West Coast, and it is causing creating a, quite a problem because there are no lights on the bridges and on the roadways, and there are no traffic lights. Citizens out trying to direct traffic. Two of the bridges are closed down. The Bay Bridge, as Emerald mentioned, suffering damage. A 50-foot section of the upper deck falling onto the deck below it and forcing some of that deck into the water. Right now you're looking at the Bay Bridge, in fact. That's the section that has collapsed. The upper deck is the deck that brings people from Oakland to San Francisco. The cement part has collapsed onto the lower deck that is eastbound, San Francisco to Oakland. Two cars were trapped and hit by this falling upper deck. The people in it were told survived, although injured. The collapse also forced debris from the lower deck of the bridge into the bay below. We had early reports of both people and cars into the bay. Those have not been confirmed. We have had no word on that now for some time, in fact. The Bay Bridge Authority has just told us a few minutes ago there is not only damage to the roadbed, as you can see, but there is also structural damage to the steel supports of this bridge, and they're telling us now it could be indeed weeks before this bridge is repaired and open to traffic. It is the main east-west artery between Oakland and San Francisco, and it will have a major impact on transportation to come. To the south of us, the San Mateo Bridge from the San Francisco Peninsula to the southeast bay is also closed. They're worried about damage. That's two of the cars. The people survived that, believe it or not. It is closed. All other Bay Area bridges are open and functioning, but without lights. Southern Pacific Railway is not functioning. The Bay Area Rapid Transit System is not functioning. The Bay's ferry systems, however, are functioning, trying to get people back to the East Bay, because it's not an easy task to do. Darkness is going to be a continuing problem, as is transportation as well as communication. Phone lines still down by the hundreds of thousands all over the Bay Area. Look, we're getting word now that San Francisco Mayor Art Agnos, oh, this is the Cypress, uh, Cypress Exchange. That's an on-ramp to Highway 17 that leads south. When the Bay Bridge ends on the eastern side in Oakland, it goes in three major directions, one of them south, that's 17, and that's the on-ramp. The upper deck again has fallen onto the deck below. We had earlier reports of people being hit by that falling structure. We have no update on that. We're getting word now that Mayor Art Agnos is saying that their city has had relatively minor damage. We did show some some troubling and, and dramatic video, but the mayor says the city has had relatively minor damage. All vital facilities, he says, are operational. Uh, the fire chief, public health director, and police chief are all at the command center. Besides the marina fire, there were four minor fires. They're all under control. Unfortunately, I have a new fire that just handed me. There's a major fire. It's near Page Mill Road. That's in the Palo Alto area. That's south of San Francisco, halfway to San Jose, near the Stanford campus. A major fire, Page Mill Road. We have no details as to what is burning Also there. earlier reports of a major fire in Berkeley, building in engulfed in flames over there in Richmond, the city of Richmond to the north. Several buildings had collapsed over there. From the Marin side over in Sonoma, we were told there were no injuries over there. And again in San Francisco, right now there's a, a, a problem in the Marina District with firefighters having trouble controlling that fire, people trapped inside buildings too. If there's not enough problem on the Bay Bridge, the video you just saw of its collapse, now the approaches to the Bay Bridge are also in trouble. On the eastern end of the Bay Bridge is a toll plaza and that is Highway 580. That highway is cracked and buckled. It is at sea level. Excuse me, it's where the bay is. <clears throat> Water is now coming onto the roadway and into that area at the, at the toll plaza. So this is where we got the information, in fact, that the bridge One will be down One engineer says that it could be weeks 
before the bridges open again. And we heard earlier from our production assistant, Claudia Gomez, who was on the Bay Bridge when the earthquake hit, and she described it, well, first of all, she said there was a tremendous jolt, she was on a bus, and then everything, everyone thought it was okay, and they drove on, and then about 10 seconds later, everything came to stop, people were getting out of their cars, and uh, they had seen that collapse section, and people fled the bridge. And now we're joined by yeah, Rita Shannon. Just back from San Francisco Airport, which is closed. We should say that San Jose is open.